We are now joined by our race winner, driver Kevin Harvick, driver of the number 29 Budweiser Chevrolet. Obviously a big win for you guys, one that um, you've been searching for this season for a long time, so talk a little bit about finally getting to victory lane. Yeah, you know, it's um, it was an interesting day to say the least, but uh, Gil did a great job of uh, keeping us in the in the track position game and made our car better all day. And, and, and the further we got towards the front, the better the car handled. They made good adjustments. and, and there at the end, uh, we had a couple restarts, and Kyle chose the bottom, and, and we were able to uh, drive around the top side of him and, and then get control of the race, really. So, um, obviously, we didn't want to see the, the red flag. We're about, this I've, I've heard is about five feet. Somebody can, can tell me where the caution came out. But when I came by, I, I saw the caution light come on. I saw the flag before we, we had gotten uh, to the start-finish line. So, at that point, you think about, man, it's 2012. Uh, what, what's going to go wrong? Where are we going to run out of gas? And um, once we got those thoughts out of our head or out of my head, um, you know, I just wanted to, to get a good restart and, and be able to, uh, to get into turn one and, and not have any mistakes and, uh, knew if we could get through there, uh, without any mistakes, uh, that, that we could at least have a fighting chance of taking control of, 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 of the bottom of the racetrack in turn three and four. All right. We'll open it up for questioning for Kevin. Okay. Let's start with David Newton right here. Man, you got a haircut, didn't you? Do what? You got a pretty tight haircut, didn't you? Oh, yeah, it was bad. So. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like looking good, man. It's like five. You're like maybe five, six years younger. Yeah. It's kind of kind of like the end of the race. It kind of put a few more back on me, though. What? Kind of go back. I mean, Brad came in here and said he was basically ashamed. The sport said it was effing bullshit. What happened out there at the end um, on a lot of fronts between the, what happened there with you and the wrecks and the retaliation and all. What What are your thoughts on that? Well, you, you can't throw the caution flag as fast as you can throw it one time and then just let everybody run through a whole straightaway full of oil. So, you know, th those are the guys are going to have to look themselves in the mirror and figure out who's calling the races and, and decide if they're doing a good job. The fights? The sport was made on fights. We should have more fights. I like fights. <laughs> Were they real fights? We like real fights. We like real fights, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> they're, okay. We're they're not always fun to be in. Sometimes you wind up with being on the wrong end, but fights are what made NASCAR what it is, they right? Said, yeah, that's exactly. Hey, uh, they said that I wouldn't stand next to you in winter circle. Does this look like I won't stand next to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can tell you guys because I know the question's going to come. You guys are all going to ask the question, so we're going to say it in, in front of each other. We can all talk about what's going to happen in 2014. We have 2012. We have 2013. And regardless of, of what happens on a, on a business side of things, Richard Childress and myself will, will always be friends, good or bad, and uh, may disagree to disagree, but – you know, we, we still have a lot of racing left to do, and we owe it to our sponsors and our company to go out and, and, and do exactly what we did today and, and, and be men and, and, and do the best we can for everybody. All right. We are now joined by race winning crew chief Gil Martin and team <coughs> owner Richard Childers. So we'll continue with questioning for either <laughs> the three of these gentlemen. Raise your hands. I've kind of lost count of who all raised their hand. Anybody? Anybody else? Okay. Well, can we have Richard also speak to that while? Yeah, Kevin said it all. We got a. We're going to go to Homestead, try to win. We owe it to everybody in 13 to uh, go win a championship, and whatever happens, happens. You know, it's a business decision. This is a business sport. Then, can you guys just uh, all, all three of you talk about today, and and you know, kind of? I guess a lot of people would have thought that that might have been a distraction, and then obviously today you you just went about your business and and did it well you know I, I think you know it's 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 in the end there can be distractions there can be whatever happening around the racetrack off the racetrack but when you get in that garage and you and everybody's doing their jobs I get in the car he's up on the trailers I mean we're, we're all just racers uh, in the end we want to race cars and and you know it comes with a lot of media it comes with a lot of things that outside of the racetrack but when we actually get to get into our element we all we all do our jobs regardless, and and um, you know we we all don't want to go out and embarrass ourselves and, and not run good, and uh, we want to be exactly where we are right here, you know, talking to you guys after the race and in in victory lane and and doing the things that that make us all happy, and um, you know there's been it's been a frustrating year, but you know two races to go, here we are. 
One thing I can say is I'm really glad to be sitting here looking at you guys. <laughs> you know, Martin made a great call today. They, uh, Kevin did a great job uh, conserving fuel when we had to, and uh, Gil told him to go, and he could pick up a couple of tents, and it was uh, – it was really a good race strategy call. We lost the race we felt here, the first one. Uh, we finished second, but we ran out of gas catching Denny there. So uh, we were on. All right. Let's go um, to the press box. Uh, Monty Dutton, Gaston Gazette. Uh, I know, Richard, that you were highly upset about the fact that the race was put into overtime because you felt the caution could, should come out before the green-white checker was allowed. Now, are you pleased that what was done was just, or are you only pleased because you won the race anyway? No, I'm really disappointed in the way the, the race was called, and I asked them, uh, you know, we Kevin almost wrecked coming off of four. You know, we take the white flag. She's coming across uh, down here. Everybody's seen what was happening. I just knew the caution was going to come out, and he races back around and almost wrecks, and we lose a car and could hurt a driver, so I'm just uh, still a little upset about that last not being a caution there was and more oil than there was asphalt i yes. guarantee you that and it was yeah, very it was dangerous any I'm additional sure questions for that. any additional questions for upstairs <laughs> all right we'll move back downstairs any okay let's go to brian right behind you brian nelson motor racing network uh richard i mean after the weekend that, that you had here i mean what is this some kind of redemption i mean how do you kind of wrap your arms and put the, a bow on this on this weekend i feel like it's a kentucky weekend remember when we went to kentucky and we used to test all the time and we won the first kentucky race and wrecked 11 cars yep That's, you're right this one what, what was it eight? eight eight so we wrecked eight cars my week got off uh in a bad start tuesday night and uh from that point on it hadn't been really great but you know that's life <laughs> this one started off okay yeah, today this, was this, great. This week has started off better. All right. Continue with questioning for Richard, Gill, or Kevin. Okay, let's go to Lee right here up front. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Just wondering, after a 44 race drought, Richard, what do you think is the turnaround from, you know, where you have been because you guys have really struggled and you can't expect Eric Warren to come in and change things overnight, but, um, you know, what, what would you point to having three cars that possibly could have finished in the top 10 today before the 31 got taken out? You know, I, everybody's worked hard all year long and, and did a whole lot and uh, there's no question about it we we got a little behind on some of this skew and all the stuff that people were doing and uh it it put us behind and you know we didn't uh we didn't get uh get the year we wanted but to come out with a win it was big and i, I couldn't be prouder of this whole team budweiser and kevin and all these guys it was really a good week okay let's go to lewis uh, lewis frank reuters uh kevin hi uh, <laughs> Sorry, we're watching the video. Trying That's to, okay. It's I was trying to figure out what Jeff Gordon was mad at. It's a, lo it's a lot more interesting than me. Um, Sorry. Go ahead. No, okay, <laughs> Kevin, you've been around a while. This is in reference to, to Brad came in here, and he was very hurt. He said some people in the garage criticized him after a clean race. You know, he raced Jimmy cleanly. Did you hear anybody? You don't have to mention names, but did you hear anybody in the garage criticizing uh, Keselowski's driving? No, no. I mean, he races hard. I mean, why why would you criticize the guy that races hard and in contention to 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 win a championship? So, um, you know, I, I think there's a maybe a lot of agendas to try to get in his head. But you know, at this point, it's you know he's got a 20 point lead and he only he, he's only got a he's the only one in control of his head at this point. So, if the wheels don't fall off, he's going to win a championship. Any additional questions for Kevin Gill or Richard? Well, let's end on a positive note. Keelan's first trip to Victory Lane, how'd he do? He was fine until everybody started screaming. <laughs> Made him cry. But, uh, you know, it was it was great to, to have everybody here. We've had a great week. We had a lot of great foundation events and, and uh, you know, 
change the lives of a, a lot of kids uh, in, in Bakersfield, uh, hopefully to, to better their education and, and, and their direction of their life. So it's been a, it's been a great week, and, and to cap it off like this is, uh, is, 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 a, is a great way. All right. We thank you guys. Congratulations. I just want to cap off okay, one thing, ahead. though, real quick, that, to touch on what Richard was saying, uh, where we've come a long way, but this, is a, this victory is a big, big team deal from Paul Menard and Slugger. They have, we have started working together so hard here in the last month, and I want to put out a big thanks to those guys because they've done a great job as far as working teammates and try to win homestead. Yeah, and I mean, halfway through practice, we, we decided to stop and, and put it put in everything out of the 27 car, and, and that's really the way it's supposed to work. Uh, um, we put it in and adjusted it to, to my driving style, and, and um, you know, that's, that's great to see. All right, congratulations. We'll see you guys Thank in you. homestead.